we have Kevin here. And Kevin, uh, well, first, could you tell us, like, what your background is? I know that you have Jamaican roots. Well, it's Jamaican, and some of my family are, well, not from India, but of Indian descent. Mm -hmm. So it's Jamaica. I've been here for about, you know, 20 years now. So I had a... So you were born in Jamaica? Born in Jamaica. And, and stayed there long enough to get some of the accent? Oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Defi that, that's, that's my first accent. Yes. But, you know, I've, I've been here so long that, you know... Yeah. It, it's... Um, it's faded a little yes. bit, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, so, uh, when you were in Jamaica, what kind of fruits uh, were your favorites? In Jamaica, favorites were seasonal fruits, unfortunately. Um, so some of my favorites, mango, of course. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know about all these different varieties until I got here. But mangoes, um, gineps, custard apple, uh -huh. and um, star apples were some of my favorite fruits back home. So um, those were always stuff we got. You know, the stuff that you could get all the time is not always that appealing because you can get it all the time right but when it's seasonal yeah you look forward to that season so yeah those are some of the fruits that i enjoyed in the caribbean back home so oh, since sort of the topic of today is custard apple uh, what do you remember about the custard apples that you had in jamaica well um back in jamaica the ones that we had back home were somewhat of um there were only one type that I, I know of, and it's the one that's more orange on the outside with the white flesh on the inside. Uh -huh. And um, they have grainy texture and really sweet. So that's, that's one of the things that I enjoyed most about custard apples. So, yeah. so uh, you've been in South Florida since, or did you go to New York first and come down to South Florida? No, South Florida was my first stop. Okay, it's a lot of Jamaicans in South Florida went to New York first and then made their way south. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been to New York a few times, I've uh, visited, but I would not want to live there. Yeah, it, it gets cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this is as best as you could get it to, you know, Jamaica. Yeah, without the mountains. And without the mountains, kind of stuff, yeah. Yes. Um, so, uh, are you up for tasting our two varieties of custard apple? Yes, I am definitely up for that. Looking <laughs> forward to that. Okay, so uh, here we have uh, our original tree, which you know, is white fleshed. White flesh. And uh, I gotta have one myself here. So, is this similar to what you had in Jamaica? I am going to be honest, and not because I have um, I've been here, but um, this actually is the best custard apple I've ever had, even from Jamaica. And I, I go back to Jamaica and I, I tried it after, and um, this to me is amazing. Yeah, it's. Um you know, really sweet, but I don't get like graininess, you know. No, it, it, that's the thing. It doesn't have the graininess of the ones in Jamaica, but to me, this is much sweeter than the ones I've had back home. And um, the ones, like I said, the, the grainy texture is something you, you would have, but this is actually one of the, um, sometimes the skin is a bit harder too. Mm -hmm. This one, the skin is, um, it's almost like you can eat the skin, so. It's amazing. So, like, if you wanted to make friends in Jamaica, which I'm sure you have plenty. Yeah. But you could take some of the seeds with you. <laughs> that uh, definitely um, is something I thought about because, you know, um, sometimes when, you, when you've never experienced something anywhere else, when you've only experienced it there, you think it's, you know, the best because mm -hmm. you're from there. Sure. But when you explore and you're like, wow, I'd really like to take this back to... I definitely want to take some of those seeds back to Jamaica and have that variety. Because I'm not sure if, uh, I, I, I didn't even know they had different types. Mm -hmm. I only know the, the outside that looks similar to this. Mm -hmm. So I'm learning yeah. new stuff. Well, there's all these new varieties that are, you know, like being uh, 
developed and stuff because of you know cross pollinating and stuff like that. Right. Uh, so whatever. Um, this is our other variety, which is a seedling of San Pablo, and uh, this was just a small fruit. And uh, see, this this can be very big. Also, they, the same trees can make very small fruit. Like the uh, this uh, white custard apple, we've had fruit this big, and then we've also had fruit like this big on the same tree. Uh, so this is just one of the small fruits. It's the end of the season though, so okay. we're we're desperate. <laughs> so um, this. I've never seen in Jamaica. Never seen the colorful one? Never seen this color in Jamaica. So um, this was actually new for me. And I, like I said, I didn't know they had different varieties. So let's try. Mm, wow. <laughs> that one's good too. <laughs> wow. It, it does have a different flavor. Mm -hmm. it, it is, you know, this one has like, it's almost like a, even the smell is like a floral smell. I'm not an expert on star apple, but it seems to have a little hint of star apple flavor mm -hmm. to it. Does, mm -hmm. Do you think so? There's, there's another taste to it. Mm -hmm. It's actually, to, this has a little bit of tang and this doesn't have that tang that I tasted in this one, but Honestly, I don't. I don't know which one is better. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you knew going I, I, in. I thought. Yeah, you, know, you thought you were going to prefer this one because it's hard to beat. And yeah, then, I, I then thought I, I knew. threw this one at you, and you're like, oh, okay. No, I really thought I knew this one. <laughs> but that's very hard to to. What? Which one would you choose? It um, it sort of depends. Mm -hmm. You know, like. Either one, when you get it just perfect, and I like it chilled. These were chilled a little bit more before you came, but mm -hmm. um, they but they're still a little bit chilled. But I really enjoy them when they're chilled, and they keep pretty well in the refrigerator. Right. Uh, so that's a good thing. But yeah, I enjoy both of them. Uh, I think I've been. You know, we, I get to eat the ones that the animals have had their little <laughs> samples of, <you> know? <laughs> and uh, I've eaten more of the white. Um, but, um, you know, I like them both. So you couldn't pick one if you had no, a choice? No, it's like picking your fi favorite child, you know? <laughs> it's like, they're, they're both very I, good. I, I agree. Uh, and I think I've, I've had custard apples at other places. Mm -hmm. And um, without a doubt, this is my favorite um, custard apple like that I've had. I've, I've tried different places that I've, I've had it from before here in South Florida. Right, yeah. But these are hands down the best. Oh. And I'm not just saying that because I'm <laughs> because, tasting because it. Because you're talking yeah. to me and you want <laughs> But, but I, um, you know, like, you know, I've always, even before the, se the season starts, I've always asked about custard apples because they're not something you can find in the store. Right, yeah. And um, I think a lot of people are, are not aware of this fruit, uh, maybe because you can't just go into a store. If, if you don't source it, you'd never, find it anywhere like if you don't know where it's at you're not going to just run into custard apples so 